And this and this morning, you can just imagine being a passenger on this ocean liner, a haze, hazy day, getting ready to sail across the Atlantic. Uh, and yes, she is ready for her debut once more. Another chapter in the history of the Queen Mary, 90 years uh, as of this year. I'm going to bring in Staff Captain James Sanders to tell us a little bit more about this. I know we've we've undergone a big renovation here, millions of dollars spent, some of the things we can't see some of the things we can including the decking here right that is correct welcome aboard everybody thank you welcome to the rms queen mary and, and tell us about the deck here because this is the uh, this is actually the original deck so this is the original teak wood deck on board the queen mary and during the renovation we are resurfacing this deck yeah and this is a, a deck obviously that's seen prime ministers they've seen presidents right and even during the war uh, GIs. Uh, there were many soldiers on board the Queen Mary during World War II. As a matter of fact, there could be at least 10,000 soldiers per crossing. Per, per, per crossing. Per and we were crossing. saying, and we're going to take a walk inside one of the, the newly opened areas uh, this morning. Uh, we were saying that there really weren't enough staterooms, really, for all of the soldiers that were here during the war. Actually, during World War II, uh, many of the soldiers slept here what is today the Queen Mary's observation bar. There were bunk beds set up here in this area, and the soldiers would sleep in what is called a hot bunking system. A soldier would get into the bed, get up, another soldier would get into the bed and get up. The beds never, ever got cold. Right, but this observation deck, uh, which is now open to the public, is going to be reopened to the public. Uh, this was an area for first-class passengers, right, who were, who were luxury, on this luxury liner going across the transatlantic uh, voyage uh, would, would spend some time here. Originally, when the ship opened, it was for the first-class passengers and only for the first-class passengers. Oh. Today, we are all first-class passengers. We are all first-class passengers. <laughs> and really quickly, uh, as we, we tell people, it is uh, open for reservations now. This mural here was an original mural. This, right? is, this mural is original to the Queen Mary by Austin Crumpton Roberts, and it celebrates George V's 25th year as king. God. The 1930s. Can you imagine? All right, queenmary.com. Very easy to make your reservations now. The hotel now open to the public as of tomorrow after a five million dollar renovation. So it's beautiful. I've had I've had drinks at this bar. Really cool views of Long Beach. Nice drinks. Nice cocktails. Yes. Reminds you of the 1930s, the 1940s. Very regal. <laughs> they drink I love it, then. Bobby D. So if you want to, uh, if you wanna... who looks that good at 90 years old? is all I'm saying. Right? <laughs> exactly. If you want to LLBD, live like Bobby D, yeah. go have drinks at that bar at the Queen Mary. <laughs> Thank you.